For this recipe, you'll need broccoli, your choice of grated cheese, olive oil, and salt and pepper. Place the steamer basket in a pot and add enough water just so that it reaches the very bottom of the steamer basket. Turn the temperature to high so it brings the water to a boil. The first thing you want to do is trim the florets off of the stem of the broccoli. Break off the florets so they're in smaller pieces. While you're waiting for the water to boil, you can go ahead and place the broccoli florets in the pot. Now the neat thing about broccoli that I want to show you is that this stem here is actually one of the best parts of the broccoli. So don't throw it away. Trim off the end. I'm going to trim this here too a little bit so it's a little easier to work with. And then I like to just take a small paring knife and what we're doing is trimming off this kind of thick, tough outer skin. And when you trim all of that off, what you're going to end up with is one of the most tender parts and most delicious parts of the broccoli. It's this inner core and it's almost like a artichoke heart. So you want to hang on to that. Don't throw that away. Just keep trimming off the skin until you see, you kind of see this inner part here is the tender part. It's the lighter color. So this is the inner part of the broccoli stem. I've trimmed off all the tough parts and then you can just slice this into some pieces and add that to the pot with your florets. When the water starts to boil, turn the temperature to low and just let the water simmer. I'm going to put the lid on and let it steam for about 15 minutes. When the broccoli is done steaming, I'm just going to take some of the florets and put them in a food processor to make the baby food. Put the lid on and puree. To thin the mixture, you can add some breast milk, formula, or a little bit of the water that you use to cook the broccoli. And then we'll just puree again. So this looks good. If you want a thinner consistency, just add extra milk or more water. Now if your baby can tolerate goat cheese, go ahead and add about a tablespoon of goat cheese. And if you want, you could also add a little bit of cheddar cheese. You can of course leave both of those out and just serve it plain. Um, which is wonderful, but if your baby's a little older and you want to experiment with some new flavors, you could try adding uh, one or two cheeses. And we'll pulse that again. This looks absolutely delicious. So the baby food is ready. We'll just put that in a bowl and then work on the side dish for mom and dad. Now for mom and dad, the side dish really couldn't be easier. And I know it seems so simple, but it is one of my favorites. We're just going to add a little bit of olive oil. Then we're going to just add a little bit of salt and pepper. All we're going to do is add some shredded Parmesan cheese. And Parmesan cheese, for some reason on broccoli, is just amazing, especially with the ground pepper. So add a kind of generous amount of Parmesan cheese. And if you want, you can heat that up quickly in the microwave just to start to melt the cheese, or you can just let it melt on the warm broccoli and serve it just like that. If you want, you can even add a little bit of grated cheddar cheese to kind of kick up the cheese aspect of it. Today we made pureed broccoli for baby, and for older babies we added a little bit of goat cheese and cheddar cheese. And then for mom and dad, we made an easy and delicious and healthy steamed broccoli with Parmesan and cheddar cheese black pepper and olive oil. Enjoy! And now for the official taste test. <laughs> you like it, Jack?
Good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Some more? Want some more?